Hey curl friends, it's Kazaya Dama here, the founder of Swirly Curly Curl College and the author of The Swirly Curly Method, the easy step-by-step -step guide to getting the curls that you love. So I've helped over 100,000 women just like you be able to get moisturized and defined curls within less time and effort. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you five hot girl summer hairstyles, yes, to keep you cool. So I gotta tell you guys the inspiration to do this video. Of course, one of our Curl College members right here wrote me and was like, girl, I am so tired of the bun and the puff and it's so hot, like what should I be doing with my hair in this humid weather? So a few things I told her is, ain't nothing wrong with wearing a bun and a puff, but I get it, you're bored. So we'll definitely show you some new styles because I said, I would expect for you to wear your hair up because it's hot, it's totally hot. So if it's summertime and you're wearing your hair up and you're just like so over the styles, I get it. But you know what? Just really think about, you know, it's summer and it's hot and like, it's okay, just know that it's okay. Maybe winter is the time that you are just showing your hair and you are just rocking it. Who knows, okay? So I get it, we all don't wanna be hot and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys some awesome styles that you can rock to just kind of give you a little bit of variation this summer, okay? And again, these are hot girl summer hairstyles. So what you're gonna need to be able to do these hairstyles are some hair ties. I got my snappy hair ties from Swirly Curly Hair. These are my favorite. You guys, this is the first product that I invented Invented, that I created for snappy and I gotta let you know they're still our best sellers like people these go out of stock so quick like I we can't even keep them in stock sometimes especially the black the brown you know some sometimes people are like oh okay I'll just get brown because there's brown but nothing's wrong with brown they good so anyways you guys got to get you some of these I'm gonna put the links for all the products down below for you but Every single um, style I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna be using snappy hair ties. I'm gonna use one or two. So I have two right here. Da, 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 da. And um, this is actually one of my favorite styles to do because it's elegant, it's beautiful, it keeps your hair up, it's gonna keep you cool in all levels. So this is the high, messy bun style. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're basically going to start to work our hair in the middle of our head. So you see I have this part in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and work it in the middle and I'm gonna pull my hair up. Oh, I have some bobby pins in here. I'm gonna pull my hair up a little bit. By the way, if you guys hear any kids screaming, I have three and two of them are home today. <laughs> and it's just the new life, right? Since COVID, it's our new life. <laughs> and they're definitely there crying. Um, so my apologies. Okay, so my hair is gonna go up and in fact, so there's two ways to do it. You can totally just take this hair tie and I know I got people that complain or are like, this doesn't fit around my hair. I'm like, oh my God, oh. <laughs> okay, so if it ever snaps on you, this is so funny, this literally happens in every single video. It's not broke, it just unsnapped. So I probably should have showed you guys the feature how you can snap it and unsnap it. That's the feature of the snappy hair ties. I was gonna show you when I did my hair, but I'll show you like that. Okay, so again, you can just totally wrap it over or this is what I was gonna show you is my favorite way is to put it behind the head, okay? I'm gonna pull the hair up and I'm gonna go ahead and work it through. So I know it's black and you can't see it that much, but I'm working it over to the middle just like that. It's really simple and easy. It really is. Okay, so there we go. So now I have my hair in a high puff. This is a style that you could totally rock. This is actually one of my favorite ones to rock. And in fact, you guys, I was gonna do this towards the end as a style, but I feel like I just need to show you right now. So this is the high puff. So this is one of the styles you can do. Again, I was gonna do this later in the video, but we're already there. So this is one of the styles. Let's go ahead and show this. And again, you can do so much. I mean, you know, I have some hair sticking out here. You can pin it if you want. You can bring it all forward or you can just like part it on the side. You just gotta play with it a little bit. And so now I'm gonna take this and work it into a bun. So I'm gonna grab another snappy hair tie. And actually, I misspoke. You actually are gonna need three for this. But thankfully, the pack comes in a pack of five. So you're gonna be sorted. Okay, so I have two more right now, and I'm gonna unsnap them. So the great thing about the snappy hair ties is that you can unsnap like this, and you can actually connect them to make them bigger ones. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this, and similar to how I did the other 
how I got my hair up like this is I put it behind my hair and then I'm going to bring it in the front and I'm gonna cross it. So let me just make sure there's no hair in the middle of these. And again, I know it's hard to see because it's black, but just go with me, okay? And I'm pulling it together, you see this? And then I'm gonna go snap it in the back. See if you guys can see that. There we go. All right. And I have my hair up in a messy high bun. Okay. And this edge side is, here we go. Let's fix these edges over here too. So one other thing I got to say to you guys, I have not been wearing my hair down. Not down, I'm sorry. I haven't been wearing it up because look at these edges, girl. My baby is four months now, so here's a picture of Rumi. She's so adorable, and uh, she's totally snatching my edges, this postpartum shedding. But it's so crazy, I get a ton here, and then it will grow back, but it takes a while for it to grow back. So as you can see, I've just been kind of wearing my hair down, is what I was trying to say, and showing like this. Okay, so ignore the edges, um, but this is how it looks, and then anything you don't like, go ahead and just pin it like this and you can pin any sections. But this is the messy bun. Oh, that needs to be pinned too. I also tuck it. Tucking and pinning all works fantastic. All right, so that's style number two. Okay, so let's take this out while we prep our hair for the next style. So again, I just wanna show you guys how you actually take out the snappy hair ties, is you just find that snap, you unsnap it, and you take it out the same way you put it in. There we go. Look at that, no damage and no breakage to the hair. And let me find the other ones. It's the clip is right here, yeah. The clip, the snap. There we go. Boom, there we go. And I have a bobby pin. Make sure you take out the bobby pins before because then all of a sudden it's harder to take it out of your hair. Okay, so this is another style I really, really like. It's two messy buns, but they're like two cute low buns. So I'm gonna go ahead and just part my hair along this part here that I have. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work my hair into two buns, one on each side. I love this style because it's kind of cute and different. And listen, it is a little bit young, that's fine, but I find like nobody's even like looking at if it's a young style, I feel like people focus on if it's a cute style. So if you feel kind of young doing this, I get it. It's still a cute style and I think you can still rock it. So don't shy down from this style, okay? I definitely rocked it the other day and people were like, oh my God, it's so cute. I was like, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna pull this all together. And you can wrap it around twice, but I just went ahead and did once. Um, it feels good enough for me. I don't actually like it too tight and I'm sure you don't either. There we go. And then again, anything that's sticking out, go ahead and just pin it down. Or if you have like hair here that you want to go down, bobby pins are fantastic. See, even like that would use a pin. I don't have another one, but you all get the gist of it. There we go, this could be pinned as well. But this is the two buns, I love this style. It's really, look at, breezy and cool as long as this area, you know, the hair is up. So you guys can try this. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking like, Kaziah, well my hair is not as long as yours. I won't be able to do all these styles. You guys, I will do a video and showing you how to properly stretch your hair so that you can get more length to style your hair like this. One of the methods is the banding method, which I love. And it's, you know, taking your snappy hair ties and banding your hair. Like, let me show you real quick. Here we go. And then you just do it, you know, throughout your hair and you can sleep with it and then it helps stretch your hair. It's really awesome. So I will definitely do some content on that for you guys. I think that will be helpful. If you like that, just put that in the comments and I'll definitely do that for you. Um, because I get it, if your hair's short, you're not gonna be able to do all these styles, but then again, you can totally just wear your hair back and up without a problem. Okay, now let's move on to style number four. So we did the high bun, we did the, uh, the high puff, we did the two little ones. So this is one of my next favorites, is where I start to play with some bangs. 
So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take out some of your bangs like this and then the rest of your hair, you're gonna wanna take it back and you're gonna wanna put it into a ponytail. Um, so I've been really into these like low ponies right now. They do really well. And again, I'm gonna take the snappy hair ties and I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm just gonna probably do stew one. Oh, this is a little loose, but that's okay. I could make it tighter, but that's all right. I find the tighter I go, the more like my ponytail gets smaller, but if I leave it kind of loose, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take these little bangs and I like to just pin them back. And sometimes, depending on what day it is, my hair is kind of curlier and it will lay down. It won't stick out as much. So again, what day it is depends on like how much I leave out, but this day I need to do my hair and wash it, I'm gonna put them back because they're not laying down, they're sticking out. But that's okay, we'll just have some hair hanging down right here. And I find that this is a super cute, easy style to rock, low pony as well. And you can totally do this if your hair is a lot shorter. Again, you just have to stretch it and you can rock it like this for sure. Um, yeah, this is, this is an awesome style and it's really easy just to get going. All right. Okay, you guys, in the last and final style. So let's do this one, okay? Let's take out the hair and I'll tell you what it is. So we did our low pony, our low bun, we did our high puff and all of that it is gonna be a side bun these are always so good to have in your arsenal because a side bun makes it simple to have an elegant style or something that's a little dressed up so let's start to move our hair off to the side like this here we go you look at that okay Sometimes when I start styling my hair, I'm like, oh my God, is that my hair? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move it off to the side and you see the bangs have come over and we're gonna go ahead and just grab the hair and just work it down with the hands and the same on the side and we're gonna start to just gather it all together and get it all. And just be really gentle with your hair, okay? Now I'm gonna take my hair tie and I'm going to bring it around the hair. See, there we go, I told you it will go around. <laughs> yawns there we go well i mean the little pony is kind of cute i might not even go for the full button on i'll show you guys the button look you're getting an extra style here so one thing i definitely like to do is i feel like when this happens this starts to get flat so what i'll do is i'll kind of pull the hair out to kind of give it a little bit more volume all over again i feel like this is a big part there and now i'm going to take my two snappy hair ties Hmm, sometimes I always wonder, you can do two or you can do one. Let's try one, because I want to give you guys another option to know how to do this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bun and I'm going to start to twist it into like a little bun. And then I'm going to take my one snappy hair tie and put it around the bun. There we go, yeah. And then I'm going to take it again just to secure it. And I'll put it around again. You see that? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm loving the style already. And there we go, this is it. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, for the most part, I think it does. What do you guys think? There you go, and it's super simple and easy. Now I know you guys are probably like, cause I, my hair is not that long, I can't do all these styles. Again, stretching your hair will really, really help to do these. The thing is, is you don't wanna do a two strand twist and you don't wanna do a twist out or a, a braid out because it's gonna thin out your hair too much. You need the volume to be able to do styles like this. So definitely don't do that, but do a banding method. And if you guys don't know the banding method, I will do a video on that soon. And you guys, if you haven't already, please come to my masterclass. We are doing them every Thursday. I'm gonna put the links down below for you guys. I'll put the product links and the masterclass links because I teach you guys how to care for your hair. And I also let you guys know about Curl College where you can get all of this information in one jam-packed course, which makes it so much easier for you guys to do your hair and grow it longer, have more moisture and be able to do more styles. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it. Comment below, let me know which one of the five is your favorite. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on my next video.